Hello and welcome to Know It All, the trivia show where it never hurts to know it all. I'm your resident know-it-all Kylie and this week's theme is Disney. Before we get into our first round, let's meet our contestants. First up, we have Dalton. Dalton, who is your favorite Disney villain? Uh, I'd probably have to go with Yzma, uh, one of my favorite movies as well, and she's just a fantastic character and bounces I, off Kronk very well. I love Yzma, she's literally the best. I love that answer, very out of the box. Second up, we have Jordan. Jordan, who's your favorite Disney princess? Um, definitely Aurora, Sleeping Beauty. That's like my favorite movie, the art's beautiful. It's the first one where the prince actually has a personality and something about the way they animate her hair. I've always been really obsessed with that. I love that. I feel like I don't hear Aurora a lot as like a favorite princess, so I really like that answer. All right, and our final contestant that we'll have here today is Charlene. Charlene, who, what is your favorite Disney film? Definitely Lady and the Tramp, like the spaghetti scene. You all have such great answers. Infamous. I love it. Yeah. I love it. The spaghetti scene is adorable. <laughs> Would not try to recreate it, though. It wouldn't go well. <laughs> Would not go well. All right, so now we're going to get into our first round. The rules here are simple. In the first round, I will ask a series of questions about all things Disney. Our questions today go back to the very first film to some of the most recent, Included our questions about Pixar movies as well, so I hope you all came prepared. Um, if you believe you know the answer to a question, you must hit the bell first to get a chance to answer. If you get it right, you score a point. If you get it wrong, your opponents will have 15 seconds to ring in and to try and get it right. So, sound good enough? Perfect. So, we're going to get started with our very first question. What does Kronk accidentally pull? The lever. What kind the of lever? The wrong lever. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> it's like they knew. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the chameleon in Tangled? Pascal. Yes. All you need is a little faith, trust, and what else? Pixie dust. Yes. <laughs> Duchess was the mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? Three. Yes. In what city does the Princess and the Frog take place? New Orleans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is the name of the tiger in the Jungle Book? It's like Shere Khan. That is correct. OK. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are the names of the fox and the hound in The Fox and the Hound? <laughs> Todd and Cooper. Yes. Ooh. I think oh, it's slightly copper, but I'll oh, give copper, it to you. Copper. I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, no, no. Quasimodo is the bell ringer for what cathedral? Notre Dame. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Emily Blunt and Julie Andrews both play what nanny? Mary Poppins. Correct. One much better than the other. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. That movie was bad. <laughs> Name three of the five Pirates of the Caribbean movies. <laughs> okay, Curse of the Black Coral, On Strange Tides, and then Dead Man's Chest? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I can only think of like that. What <laughs> animal does Cusco turn into in the Emperor's New Groove? A llama. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what does Sully call the little girl he finds in Monsters, Inc.? Boo. Correct. What movie musical starred Christian Bale as New York City paperboy Jack <laughs> Newsies. <laughs> I saw you reaching for it. I wasn't going to let you get it. <laughs> what film shows the Sanderson sisters singing I Put a Spell on You at a Halloween party? Uh, focus, focus. Yes. In Monsters, Inc., it's important to close the door, not because it could let in a draft, but because it could let in a what? It could let in a child. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Name four of the five emotions that guide Riley in Inside Out. OK. Fear, joy, sadness, and disgust. Yes. yes. <laughs> <It's my name. laughs> what does Russell Cup name the female protagonist or the big colorful bird in Up? Kevin. Yes. yes. <laughs> you were really excited for that. I'm very excited. <laughs> Had that. Who is Experiment 626? Stitch. Yes. What kind of insect is Flick in A Bug's Life? 
an ant. Yes. Yeah. It's like, wait, was that him? <laughs> Somebody else. <laughs> Who is Goofy's son? Max. Yes. <laughs> Richard Madden and Lily James star in what Disney Princess live action adaptation? Cinderella, it's trash, but I love it unashamedly. <laughs> It's so bad, but I love it so much. It's That's correct in every way that you spoke. <laughs> Everything about that was correct. What is the name of the town Lightning McQueen ends up in cars? Radiator Springs. Correct. What is the name of Pinocchio's conscience? Jiminy Cricket. Yes. Where do Jasmine and Aladdin live? Agrabah. Correct. What color is the Queen of Hearts having her roses painted? Red? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a song. Yeah, paint roses, right? What is Wally's favorite classic movie? <gasps> Hello, Dolly. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> what is stronger than the power of children's screams in Monsters, Inc.? Uh, laughter. Yes. Into the Unknown is sung by Idina Menzel in which film? Frozen 2. Yeah. What do Lady and the Tramp eat during their first date at Tony's restaurant? Spaghetti! <laughs> if you didn't get that, I would, yeah. I would be really sad. I would have cried. What Disney villain was largely inspired by the drag queen Divine? Ursula. I was told to ask that. That's a specific <laughs> question I was told to hunt down. Tim Curry plays Long John Silver in which Muppets movie? Muppet Treasure Island? Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. I was about to say Treasure Planet, like, the oh, Muppet up. movie. <laughs> Never mind. You're on Shuron. Is, uh... Treasure Planet does slap, though. It's so. It so underrated. It's my, one of my mom's favorite Disney movies. <laughs> That's, I love that. Um, and Luca, who do Luca and Albert, Alberto say Silencio to? Only seen that movie once, I and you. I don't know. So here's your hint: we don't talk about. Oh, Bruno? Yeah. <laughs> There's a character called Bruno and Luca, apparently. It's <laughs> a popular name. I uh, know there is. I think it's just like. Oh Silencio yeah, they say Bruno? that like Silencio yeah. Bruno. Yeah. Bruno. Yep. What I Disney know what character about. sings "How Far I'll Go"? Moana. Yes. Who does Elsa unfreeze with her true love? Anna. Yeah. Frollo, Frollo is the villain in which Disney movie? Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yes. Um, what is the name of the rat chef in Ratatouille? Remy. Yes. <laughs> I appreciate whenever you know an answer. You oh, just, I'm ready. You just have it. Just, it's great. It's great. I love it. Um, in Beauty and the Beast, what is the Beast's real name? Adam. Yes. What is the name of the chicken voiced? I can't pronounce that name. What is the name of the chicken in Moana? Hey, hey. Yes. And it's voiced by Alan Tudyk. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't going to try. <laughs> I butchered enough names in the Star Wars round. I was like, I, I don't need that humiliation. <laughs> um, how many muses are in Hercules? Five. Yes. In what Disney princess film do we get down to business to defeat the Huns? Mulan. Yes. <laughs> Fight. What does <laughs> I was gonna say I wanted to fight, so thank you. <laughs> what Disney princess has two mouse sidekicks named Jack and Gus? Cinderella. Yes. In Toy Story 3, what is the name of the evil strawberry scented bear? Lotso. Yeah. Lotso Huggin Bear is like the full name, but Lotso is a lab as well, so you get the point. What is the sequel moving to Finding Nemo? <laughs> You're about to go. Oh, I hesitate. I'm ending Dory. <laughs> Chris Pratt and Tom Holland voice elves that go on an epic adventure in what Disney Pixar movie? Onward. Correct. What are the names of Cruella's henchmen? No? It's Jasper and Horace. I didn't know it either. I just wanted to see if you guys. Long time. All right, so I got one more question for you guys for this round. The rabbit officer Judy Hopps has to team up with Fox con man Nick Wilde in what 2016 animated feature? 
Zootopia. Correct. All right, so that's going to wrap up our first round. So we're going to check in with the scoreboard really quick. In third place, we have Charlene with seven points. In second place, we have Dalton with 14 points. And in first place, we have Jordan with 23 points. Oh. So that's going to wrap up our first round. We'll be right back with more Disney Know-It-All trivia right after this. What does it mean to be a Warhawk? It means allowing myself to dream big and think outside the box. Pushing the limits of what I think is possible. Seeing ideas through from start to finish. Collaborating with professors and peers. And seizing opportunities in the community to put my knowledge to use. I'm studying abroad, learning another language, and listening to the stories of others. I'm making lifelong friends and fearlessly sharing my gifts with the world. As a Warhawk, I stay balanced, take great care of myself, and get out of my comfort zone. I refuse to let the past determine my future, and I'm taking confident steps in the direction of my dreams. Sometimes it doesn't make sense, and other times it couldn't be more exciting. But I will keep my goals in mind and never quit. Because that, that's the Warhawk way. UWW-TV has been an important part of the campus and community since 1980. Not only providing on-air learning opportunities for broadcast journalists and electronic media production students, but educating and entertaining our audiences with award-winning news, live sports coverage, original programming, as well as dedicating the mission to developing creative collaborations throughout campus. For more information, visit our website and like us on Facebook. Check us out because you got to see what's on UWW-TV. Welcome to Jitters Coffee House. Located on the first floor of the Wells Towers, Jitters is a student-run coffee lounge and offers a variety of coffee and ice cream-based drinks and is home to many entertaining programs, including live music, gamer trivia nights, and other performances. Coordinate your activity by emailing jitters at uww.edu. Jitters is completely run by volunteers who can earn service hours and even receive a free drink during their shift. Stop in tonight at Jitters Coffee House, where fun events and community come together. At the University Bookstore, we have an excellent selection of competitively priced books and classroom necessities for students. We have Warhawk gear ranging from athletic apparel to comfy sweatshirts the whole family can enjoy. The textbook rental service is also available for students to check out their required readings for class. You can also find and order books, apparel, and gift items from our online catalog located at uwwhitewaterbookstore.com. The University Bookstore, we provide for your college experiences. The Department of Communication offers students the opportunity to explore the world through the faculty-led travel study program. The course consists of both in-class lecture and a three-week travel component at the end of the semester. You have a life that is insanely busy. You don't have to give up so much time to do a three-week travel study and you can compact a lot in three weeks. The course is worth three credits and is open to all majors. The program features group travel with peers and faculty. I think the benefit of traveling in a group like the Travel Study is there's always somebody there to experience new things with you and you always have new friends to gain. Travel Study offers a variety of travel destinations including a trip to Ireland every other year. Develop new relationships, participate in enriching cultures, and experience personal growth while abroad. With the Travel Study it was so great being able to go to places and really experience the value that they can give to our own culture and just to me as a person. For more information, please visit Disney edition of Know It All. To recap our first round, in third place we have Charlene with seven points, in second is Dalton with 14 points, and running away with it we have Jordan with 23 points. So for our second round, once again the rules are pretty simple. Um, as you see the three whiteboards in front of you, I'm going to ask you a question and you're going to have 30 seconds to write down your answer on the board. When the 30 seconds are up or whenever you're all done, I'll just ask you to turn the board around and we'll see who got it right. Everyone who gets it right gets a point. Sound easy enough? Sounds good. 
Beautiful. Love it. So, let's get started. First question will be, in turning red, what creatures do the women in the family turn into when they come of age? Are you all good? All right, let's see what you got. The correct answer is red panda. So perfect, you all get a point. All right. Dwayne the Rock Johnson stirs, stars as a cursed conque stars as a cursed conquistador, giving boat tours in what live action film? It is a mouthful. <laughs> you all have this down pat. I'm a little concerned that took five seconds. Let's see what you got. <laughs> the Jungle Cruise is correct. Do I get an extra point for the? <laughs> <laughs> for each word. <laughs> Why was that movie so much better than it should have been? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> it should have been so silly, but it was a good time. It was good. What are the names of Hades' minions in Hercules? Wow, this might actually take all 30 seconds. Nope, it took 20. Let's see what you got. Good question. <laughs> Pain and Panic is correct. There is not five of them, oh. there's five muses. Oh. Pain and Panic recording <laughs> for duty. <laughs> anyway. They're great, I love them. Um, what is the name of the princess and the prince in Sleeping Beauty? <laughs> really? Yeah. Are we all good? I think so. Oh, okay, let's see your boards. Oh, what? Aurora. Oh. Aurora and Phila. <laughs> <laughs> it's us. That's right. <laughs> um, Charlene, you won over them. Unfortunately, <laughs> they did not win a point, but. No, we knew Ooh. each other. Oh, humble. Sorry, man. <laughs> That is the first time a board has, someone's gotten so excited a board has fallen off. Board town, board town. All right. Board overboard. Board overboard. Board board. overboard. Oh. <laughs> All right, our next question. What was the first Disney Pixar film? You all have this down. Let's see what you got. Toy Story is correct. I love this, I love this game show. What film soundtrack did Phil Collins write? Do I even bother starting the clock these days? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Tarzan is correct. Frozen is not. That's the Lopez. Yes, that is. He has an E because of that. Anyway. <laughs> Who is the only Disney princess that is also a Disney Pixar princess? Both a Disney film and a Pixar film. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I said that wrong. Are we all good? Okay. It is Merida. Oh, Bo Peep. <laughs> Separate. Creative. Yeah. I love okay. it. Okay, I couldn't think of the actual. I like Matilda though. Would you like to change your feet? Let's go with the What is the name of the group of boys in Neverland, Neverland in Peter Pan? I um, can't talk. I've run out of talking. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. You are all correct. Lost Boys is the correct answer. Yeah, your shirt's giving her away. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that is true. That was a spoiler. Sorry. It's okay, I guess we'll allow it. Um, what is the oldest Disney feature length animated film? We have Jordan confidently writing her answer while the other two are staring at me, questioning me at what I asked. <laughs> Think, come on. I am thinking, it's not working. <laughs> well, that is me when any test is given. I am 
shopping game. It's not worth it. <laughs> all right, are we all good? Yep. Perfect, let me see what you got. It's not Fantasia, it is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Titanic is not, is Titanic? <laughs> I don't think so. Is Leonardo DiCaprio like a Disney friend? Yeah. Surprisingly, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, somehow. Here's to you, National Institute of What does Hakuna Matata mean? Writing the entire song. Yeah. I could. All right, I mean, <laughs> why? Um, are you all good though? Yep. Perfect, let me see what you have. So it literally only means no worries, but you all have it. You all have it. We're in parentheses. <laughs> you all have points. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> That's perfect, I love it. I had a smiley face on mine. And you know, and I love it. The smiley face means everything to me, so. <laughs> What does Hakuna Matata mean? I'm sorry, <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> Who is the fashion designer in The Incredibles? As we can see, I'm running out of brain cells. All right, let's see. I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you trying. Like, yes, that's it, that's her. That is her. <laughs> And the mode is yeah. correct. <laughs> the nope. drawing is not, but I really appreciate the effort. <laughs> Angelina Jolie plays the live action version of which Disney villain? <clears throat> All right, show me your boards. I'm so proud of you. That movie's weird. <laughs> that movie makes me mad because it means my favorite princess didn't get a live action treatment really? like everything else because it's about the villain, not her. Didn't they make a second one too? Yes, yeah, they made a it. sequel. What Disney film had a character that was a famous pop star named Powerline? <laughs> what kind of 90s kid are you? This is my roommate's favorite movie, so she'd be very disappointed if I didn't know. I'm just clear that you don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Dalton, you're about to disappoint everyone, but let's see what you have. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> the correct answer is a goofy movie. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Big Hero 6 did not even have a pop star as far as I didn't that. think so. <laughs> That's the only thing I could go with. <laughs> it's a bunch of teens running It's a bunch of nerdy teens. It's science. Yeah. It's incredible, but not a pop star. Bag. Maybe one of them could have been a secret pop star. You never know. I mean, I guess, but not as far as I'm aware. <laughs> what was the first Pixar film to not take place in the United States, but instead take place in the seas surrounding Eastern Australia? Can you show me for you all the way to Sydney, mm. Australia? Who plays Corella DeVille in the 1996 live action version of 101 Dalmatians? What's her name? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Yeah, you probably don't. Time. Let's see what you got. Glenn Close is the correct answer. However, Beyonce would do amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Beyonce would kill me. I would love Let's to see that. Let's be honest. <laughs> would love to see Beyonce as Cruella Deville. All right. So I have one last question for you. What is the name of the skunk in Bambi?
All right, let's see what you got. Flower is the correct answer. Emma is creative, though. <laughs> So, that concludes our final round. So we're going to check the scoreboard really quick. In third place, with 13 points, we have Charlene. In second place, with 21 points, is Dalton. And winning with so many points that <laughs> I don't even want to count them. Jordan, who has <laughs> run away with this entirely. <laughs> In total, you had Whatever 16 plus 23 is. 39. 39. 39. You have 39 <laughs> points. I hope you're proud. You also went through every single question I had. I was out of questions. So, thank you. Um, congratulations. You are Disney know-it-all. And remember to tune in next time to see if you really know it all.